All right, now I've made that merged layer. It's at the very top. And instead of having it be a copy that says clone stamp, I'm going to call this merged. And I'm going to mark it green by right clicking where the eye is, going to color and green. So now this is everything in one layer. Why is it helpful to have everything in one layer? Well, because now I'm going to clean up all that junk at the edges of the car, right? And it's all in one place for me. So I have a feather of one pixel set on my magic wand. I have it set to be contiguous. And that way, I'm actually going to change it to a two pixel feather. Get all this blue, hold down shift, get this blue as well. Get a little bit closer. Because it's contiguous, I don't need to worry about anything anywhere else getting selected. And then you'll see, like along the ear, when I hit delete, because I have that feather, I can keep hitting delete and it will bite away. And if it wasn't enough, I can deselect, do it again, and then hit delete, 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 bite it away. This is a safer way to do it, two pixel feather at a time than doing like a seven pixel feather, right? Because that will just delete too much all at once. Until that little halo is gone. So magic wand is somewhat useful depending on what the background of your reference was for these outside edges. So you can see it worked there for the pig. But then up here, it can be really annoying because hair is translucent. So honestly, what works best is not to rely on the magic wand. Turn on that gray background. I just use my lasso with a two pixel feather. And then I just find the line I want to keep. If I want a little hair in there, I'll, I'll keep it in my, my magic wand selection. And I just do it chunk by chunk like this. And it gives me that nice two pixel feather to trim it out. And now I am finding the edges of my creature. Zoomed in at about 200%. So if you're at full resolution, you still shouldn't be able to see pixels. Though it will look a little bit blurrier than it would print. And you find that nice organic edge that you want to use. Now, if it's longer fur, like the top of the head here, you might jitter your lasso a little bit. And then with the feather, that will help it look like softer fur. Again, it's why the tablet's nice for this. it gives you those little variations. Now this is interesting because I get to find my edge and create it for the top of my creature's head. And it's almost completely up to me where it goes. but I want it to transition into the ear pretty seamlessly. And if I see there's something like this where I didn't erase the hard edge cleanly enough, well, that's a good instance for some clone stamping. But this time, instead of on its own layer, I just do it right in this combined layer. And I can do it at a lower opacity to blend. So I can take option here and then paint it up here to extend these textures 
and get rid of that ghosted hard edge. So this is clone stamping to kind of transition or to get rid of highlights you don't want. Oops. Just make sure that you know where your clone stamping is copying from. And you're not accidentally clone stamping in a hard edge. Go in 200%. Use my lasso with the two pixel feather and trim it up. So the edge is nice and believable. Because what we're after for this assignment when we turn it in is like a really nice sticker. It's really clear, believable edges that we can then put that sticker on any environment and it will look like it fits in. We don't want a lot of debris off the sides or strange highlights, strange shadows. And sometimes this can be a real pain, but you can always just draw that edge. I try to be a little shaky about it. So it feels more organic and believable than if you do this really clean arcs. Especially when you're dealing with things like fur or feathers. But you are not a slave to the reference. You are cutting your own edge. I want to keep that whisker. You can. Sometimes you have to zoom out to kind of see where you are. Oops. See what makes sense. There we go. Get to trim around this mustache. So remember, it's not going to have a gray background. It's not going to have any background once you're finished. Be free floating. I just like the gray to see any debris and any edge. I think that's a lot cleaner looking than the checkerboard. We're getting into the mouse's body. Yeah, that'll work. Might tighten up this mustache a little bit. Remember, the more you hit delete, the softer that edge will be. And the reason you really sketched and cared about the anatomy is so you can understand where the rib cage is, where the joints are. So as you're creating the outlines, you're not erasing a part that's important to the anatomy of the creature. So first you understand it with internal edges, and then we find it with the external edges. Now once I get into all this white, 
you might think, well, that's a great place to use the magic wand, except that it's also white fur. So let's see how the magic wand works. But my worry is that it would take away too much. Eh, it's helpful. It's not too bad. But then I still have to clean up all this debris. Whoops. And that's what you don't want to have happen. Where it starts deleting into your creature. I'm being just like a shaky seismograph here to get tiny little variations. There we go. Clean up the toes. Getting a pedicure. We don't want any shadow underneath them. We don't want any grass or anything that's not the creature itself. Because we're going to be putting it into our own environment. It's just doing a nice cutout. So the magic wand helps, but basically I'm just having to find that edge myself anyway. Oops. <laughs> now remember, mistakes like that can happen. You can always subtract from your selection with holding down the Option key. And you can add to it by holding down the Shift key. I don't recommend using these different settings because then they won't work predictably for you. Whether it's an additive, eraser, or additive lasso or a subtractive lasso, you just change it by holding down Option or Shift. Shift to add, option to delete. On a PC, the option button is your alt button. And on a PC, your command button is your control button. Okay, I've made it most of the way around. You can see my creature starting to be pretty believable and cut out. But now are some of the trickier edges. Like, do I actually want to keep these whiskers going out so far? I'm going to say no, because those would be a real nightmare to cut out, but also because they don't really make sense. They don't really connect with the head as clearly as the mustache and the whiskers I show in the face. So just because it's there doesn't mean you need to keep it. You get to make all those creative decisions. And you do that by cutting out the outside. Nice and shaky. All right, now I've got this all on one layer with that gray background layer so I can see there's no debris around it. Now I can use this merged layer and I can correct it. So I'm going to make a duplicate, Command J. And now what I'm going to do is do some clone stamping right onto it. So one place I need that is I don't want the tag in the ear. So how can I clone stamp and fix that? Pretty simple. Take my clone stamp tool. Use it fairly large. Start it at 100% opacity. Soft edged. Target 